So it's our lucky day. We actually get to see unloading at the home bin as well as the elevator. Oh, and we already do know our empty weight. So you're going to use your same automatic probe we have at the elevator, right? Yeah, something like that. Actually, we do have a probe. And an old platform ladder from Builder Square. Builder Square, huh? Builder Square in Evansville, when they went Billy up, granddad found a ladder from the store close, close up. So you drive that thing in and then you spin it and that lets the door in. Right? Yeah, we'll show you how that does that. If you actually will see the slots here. And as you open that, the corn goes in the slots and fills it up. Then you shut it so that you can pour the corn out without making a mess. We're going to call that good. Fancy little holder you got there for your bro. Yeah. Take five ounces of corn. You have to balance that out just perfectly. Yeah. This is an old moisture tester. Come from the middle 60s era. And it still works and does just as well as a new one. Just takes a little longer. Maybe even better. It's pretty accurate. It is very accurate, actually. Okay, we'll check the balance. And it's Line balanced. That little bar right there. Lines up with that balance line is right on the top. Yeah. And we pour, pour the corner. And we find the line up the mark. That's about close enough, and then we find the corn at five ounces, and it's right at 15. Maybe 15.2. For this sake, we're going to call it 15. Oh. 1960s. 1960s. Just bit the big one. That thing has been switched on and off since 1960. And it just broke, right? Yeah, it just camera. broke right here on the camera. <laughs> what a bummer. Okay, well, at least we can find a toggle switch for it. That we can do. Yeah, we'll have to take the thing apart to put it in. We, we probably will. Put okay. Just bragging on you and you quit. Just us. bragging on it and we quit. Did it right here. <laughs> I don't know. Might take a little doing to so you can get it back on. Get her back on. Going. But, yeah, there it goes. Got the right piece of equipment you can make her work. I think you're all boxed in, Andrea. You have to climb on up in there with it. There you go. Perfect. How far back, Andrea? That. You gonna fire it up? I'm gonna attempt to. Andrea's up front, raising up the truck. Oh, we have. 
have when really pushing, we've got the load off in six minutes. We're not quite pushing everything, so we'll probably be about seven. But that's way quicker than the 30 that we used to have. So we were talking about the leg this morning. This is kind of the alternative. It, yeah, this is four band leg. This is the way it's more portable, but it's you know it's got its weakness as well. It requires a tractor to run it. It's 13 inch auger, which jumps up into another 13 inch, and then all the way up into the bin. This is way faster than uh, we started out with eight inch augers and dump it in with two ton trucks. Yeah, we used to be 15 minutes or 20 with a two-ton truck. Two -ton truck. The 13 inch auger has been a real help for our operation. In fact, that's why we have two of them now. All these little pink things you see, we call those bees wings. They're not really bees wings, but they look like it. What's on the base of the cob, right where the kernel and the cob come apart. So this is a 13 inch auger and it's 74 feet long. You see how I figured that out there? 130, 74, yeah. And it's augering it all the way up and dropping it in the grain bin. Now how much does that grain bin hold? It'll hold just shy of 25,000 bushels. 25 truckloads. Yeah. This is the 1466 they've got driving it. Yeah. This is a Central Illinois track. It's running a thousand RPM, right? Running on thousand RPM. Yeah. Yeah. We get ordered extra gearbox so we can, but the auger can run backwards for clean out purposes. Oh really? Yeah. Well, that's a big help. That allows you to do soybean seeds for the seed beans to help clean it out better. Yeah. If you can see up in the trailer, yeah, there is the size changes color there and that, that is black actually under the green dust. Yeah. That is a poly type liner. Okay. Green really slides on that. So we used to have some trouble with it caking up in the front corners yeah. and stuff. You, you don't, don't have, have that yeah. anymore. I mean that stuff slides out that bit. Rock slides out it was so much better. You don't have lime or any product sticking in it. So yeah. you use this trailer and not only to haul grain but to haul other lime and mainly rock, uh, limestone rock, white rock, crushed rock. Probably a little more than the three ton I was hauling on our little trailer. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we haul about 25 tons. Our closest quarry is 85 miles away. Okay. And uh, so it's a, it's a trip to go get a, but it's still, it's kind of cheaper and removes the middleman to go directly to the quarry, right? Yeah. The longer is so much wider than the uh, older. I noticed that. It's really it's quiet. Really quiet. Why do, you, why do you think so? I think they changed the way that the auger speed. Yeah. Usually it bangs a lot right down in the pit. Yeah. yeah. And it, the pit really is. The design doesn't look all, all that much different, but they've got bigger sliding, intake sliding on the okay. lower part of the tree. And, uh, it is a lot quieter than the other auger that used to be nearly unbearable to be around. Especially running fast. This particular auger has a lot bigger boot than the other one. And it will really eat the corn. It really puts it up fast. And when you see the boot, you're talking about the big red part on the bottom. Oh, okay. okay. Now we have to clean out the corner. Somebody always goes and slows the tractor down so it's not so noisy. Dad made this clean out tool years and years ago. They always had those at the elevator like this. But this one's lighter than theirs. It uses a piece of conduit instead of a big steel pipe. So that's aluminum conduit on that. We've had that thing for 25 or 30 years. Yeah, I intended to get some video of the hopper bottom. We may still later, but he drives over the middle and then wheels this thing under. Yeah, and uses the uh, remote to... Oh, he, he runs this with the remote? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So.
You can catch that on the next load. Okay. We are out over here. This was the first field of corn they shelled last week. Makes it easier for them to get around the auger and everything. Uh -huh. 